Okay, so I'm finally getting to try and do something that I've wanted to do for like a little t bit of time and I tried it with Game of Thrones and it got not too bad feedback. I am going to react to the actual winners of the BAFTAs. They finally, they're finally here. Really big hopes for Ralph Fiennes tonight, big hopes for uh, Eddie Redmayne. Um, I really want Rosamund Pike to win. I really hope the Imitation Game as well does really well for Best, uh, best British Independent Film or something like that. Yeah, really excited. So do this. <laughs> This is gonna be my night. <laughs> That's all you're gonna see. Ice cream and me going, ah! That's literally all you're gonna see. see. Yeah, my brother's sitting over there. He might come over here if he's not too shy. I could need that for him playing that. Like, okay. Go on up. Go on up. Stephen Fry's on screen and I'm excited too. We have the stars of the brilliantly inventive and hilarious Birdman with us, Michael Keaton and uh, Edward Norton. Here, after asking very esteemed men oh, to do do the... kiss to camera, but this year we've decided, well I've decided, um, that I'm going to ask them to kiss me. So, um, would you mind, you, are you on for this? Uh, that's really, uh, I'll come down. I've uh, seen Birdman. Oh, thank you so much. Lucky bastard. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It's an honour to be here this evening to present the BAFTA for Outstanding British Film. It's been a fantastic year for British film, and the nominations tonight are all exceptional. He can tell the helicopter so tell that he's reading the thing because he's like pausing at really odd moments. Oh, that may win it. Is that the one she filmed in Glasgow? Yeah, it's all set in Glasgow. Catelyn's really good. She's like an alien in Glasgow. The imitation game. Wow. Imitation, come on. It's amazing. I, I want imitation. It's amazing. 71. Jack O'Connell. With Paddington. Everybody's going on about him. I don't know if it's because it's a, a British film that we're getting all the hype about it in this country. I want um, an imitation game. But I feel like it goes to Fury of Everything. What? Wow! That's what I said. I was certain Fury of Everything would win it. No, I was not expecting that whatsoever. Long period, everything is really popular. Development, production, financing, I'm marketing, so distribution, everybody. It's been an incredible, the incredible the ride. The um, um, but without a great story. <laughs> present the awards. Special Who thanks, could we Guardians. Choose? But the mind blowing genius or who is the subject of the film to Felicity Jones and Professor Stephen Hawking. Oh, oh my god. Stephen Hawking's doing the award? That's awesome. Wow. That's incredible. Wow. You're not going to finish that sentence, right? <laughs> They're all standing. Good evening. It's wonderful to be here this evening, and I am particularly pleased to be presenting this award with the only person on the planet more intelligent than Stephen Fry. Yes, and better looking. <laughs> <laughs> the nominations for special visual effects are... Planet of the Apes. Oh, that, that needs to get it. The effects in that are really, really good. good. Look at that. Split screen tells you that. What's that? Is that? That's how they did it. Interstellar. Interstellar. Overrated. X-Men Days of Future The effects are good. They need it for that. 
uh, Quicksilver scene. That oh, was that genius. was cool, but like, I, I think the Quicksilver <laughs> scene was really cool, but I don't think it's worth the movie itself is worthy of getting the best the awards. The Battle of the Five Armies. That was the Hobbit could well. get it, but I mean, I wouldn't say it was incredible by any means. You're thinking about effects though. Yeah, but I would say Gone in Front of the Apes had better effects, I don't know. Guardians. Guardians of the Galaxy. That was awesome. I will say, I th I think the effects on Rocket are really underrated. Here we go. Interstellar. What? Oh, what a load of crap! Interstellar does not deserve that award. They said it was visually stunning. It's an overrated pilot. Look how smug this guy it's looks. Oh yes, look at me. I'm very happy about this award. Ah, Reese Witherspoon. What is that movie she was in, Wild? Is it, what's that about? I don't understand. A lassie walking. Yeah, that is what I picked up from the trailer. <laughs> I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna walk. And I'm gonna win an Oscar for my walking. That's, that's what it looked like. It brings home I like just how vital them. the role of supporting actor truly is. I Their contribution is really underestimated. I like her in comedy because it's better than the series. Series. I've never really seen her in anything serious. Support an actor. So I don't really know much. Simmons is going to win. Oh, Steve Good. Carell. Oscars, he's nominated for leading actor. No. This is important. Oh, Mark. He looks so different yeah. in that movie. Like, he's yeah. almost yeah. unrecognisable. They put on weight as well. I know it's Edward Norton. Edward Norton! Ronat, he is really good in that movie. I heard he's brilliant. I really like that movie. I think he really deserves that. Ethan Hall. I love you. But look how much he changes. Mark Ruffalo, Foxcatcher. That's what should be the Oscars goes to my tagging. Wait, why is Steve Carell up for support? Is this supporting? This is supporting, but so the Oscars Carell... nominated him for lead, but he has a supporting actor. <clears throat> I would say Carell's the lead in that movie. No, Carell's the supporting. Are you saying Andrew Channing Andrew. Tatum's the lead? Channing Tatum's the lead. Uh, I don't know. J.K. Simmons! J.K. Simmons has to win it. He's I'll let, I He's will, I'm going to say, I really like Edward Norton, oh. but Simmons oh, deserves it. He's really good. It's just hitting the shot out of Miles one, Taylor. Two, three, four, one, oh! two, three, one, two, three, four. Rushing or dragging? Rushing. So you do know the difference. He beats the absolute crap out of him. Why? Because he's a horrible person. <laughs> I don't know. And the BAFTA is awarded to... Open your envelope, Reese. J.K. Simmons. J.K. Simmons. So, Jay, he's going to win the Oscar. The Oscar's his. Was he in, like, anything big? Other than Spider Man before this movie? Not really. Well, I mean, he's very, he's a very um, renowned actor in USA, but over here he's not really known for a lot, I Thank don't you. think. But the only thing really I really knew him for before this movie like was Spider Man, because he was awesome. <laughs> the gift of this character to me and for well, the gift a character that you told to gets to beat everyone up and is a horrible character you you feel like like ed norton that's why probably he took that role in well, oh, oh ed norton's an awful person in that movie the one and only cuba gooding jr yeah cool can help can i say how deeply hurt i was that you didn't choose to kiss me earlier stephen chose <laughs> ed norton no, and hey. they <laughs> Did you see the fact? Just kept him right in. He went to kiss his cheek and then he fell into the head. Ah! You know! The supporting actress and the five nominees have all given us career defining performances and challenging roles. Let's take a look. I can't read this nominated here. Rene Russo, Nightcrawler. Best and clearest way that I can phrase it to you, Rene. I'm happy that I can make Nightfall is very, very good. Everyone was so, I got a comment on one of my videos about the Oscar nomination. And a girl put Jake Gyllenhaal got snubbed and I was like, I'm so sorry. Emma Stone! She's really good in that movie. I love Emma Stone. Karen Knightley. She was good to that. Yeah, I want Emma Stone to that. Patricia Arquette. She's been winning everything. Imelda Staunton, Pride. Where are you from? I like her as well. I've never seen her in that movie. Is that Moriarty? No. No way. This 
Yes. And just don't send don't mind the gaze. Yes, yes. you know, say that. I need to see it then. Don't you dare be bringing people from North Wales down here. And just don't. Oh my god, look at him. All truly amazing performances. No and idea. the BAFTA goes to. Patricia. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, she will only understand when I say this. I'm serious about this. It's you, Patricia Arquette. I knew it. I think they had a dual family on that one. That's what I'm yeah. I think she'll win the Oscar. She's won every other award. But it's Neil Kunis? Yeah, but apparently it's terrible. Who's watching her? I don't care that she's in it, Rona. Rona, you're right. a 15 year old boy. Again, you don't seem to understand this. Films, Films do not sell mean. a film. Okay, so that's on this. Yes. I don't care. <laughs> what, what award is this? What the heck are you doing? Cinematography! Right! Enough of it, boobs! Wonderful transition, Rona. Can I just say, cinematography is the most boring awards. But look at the look of Grand Budapest. I know, but it's, it's still really, really boring awards. Interstellar, Hoyter von Interstellar, Kim Bagarello. Ida, Lukasz Zal, Richard Lenchowski. That is a foreign language film. I don't know what that was. I looked up. Birdman. Birdman. Emmanuel Lewis. Yeah. Well, the whole thing's one shot. It really was well, not, but you know what I mean. I no, but they made it look like one shot. And it's really cool. That's why I wanted to get it because I've never seen a film filmed like that. And the BAFTA is awarded to Birdman. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Oh! Well done. Please welcome the Birdman himself, Michael Keaton. Well, I guess it is. It's Batman! It's Batman! Now we've arrived at the award for Batman Outstanding is essentially Debut just by Michael the Keaton writer, and writer, director movie. or producer. <laughs> given the Outstanding Debut! And is it the two of Britain's finest? One plays Chris the Pratt. evil Pratt. brother of Chris Pratt! Chris <laughs> Pratt! Please welcome Tom Hiddleston and Mark Strong! Yeah. Oh, why did this to me? Why did this to me? Oh, just look at that. Oh! Is that car advert? This being the British like, Academy Film Festival, like, oh, the right champion there. of British <laughs> talent, it marks on seems only right and correct that there be a uniquely British award in recognition of an artist Interestingly who's enough, made a significant contribution to film this year. And not just simply any contribution, but outstanding I mean, debut. My debut was as Dominic West's second in a Pistols of Dawn duel in a televised adaptation of Nicholas Nickleby um, oh. and count from 1 to 10 on screen on a personal level not particularly outstanding We thought it was Yeah well we all have to start somewhere <laughs> Thank you all for that uh, These people have made oh, an infinitely greater impression The nominations for Outstanding Debut by British writer, director or producer are Chris <laughs> Gregory Burke, Jan Demange, 71. Elaine Constantine, Northern Soul. I saw that. There's an album for that as well. How come I like that? It's just... Why have you come here? Hong Kao, Lilting. Lilting focuses on a Cambodian Chinese mother mourning the death of her son. Paul Catis, Andrew de Lobinier, Kajaki. The true story. Kajaki really? tells the true story, story of a group of British soldiers who were trapped in a minefield. Well, I guess that's the point in this. Things like this get edited this next. Harrowing day, yeah. telling tales of bravery, selflessness, we and tragic consequences not, for know, those who risk their lives to help with? each other. No, Stephen no. Beresford, David okay. Livingstone, Pride. That's the guy at me. Based on a true story, Pride depicts the Stephen Beresford and David Livingston are the prize. Right? Good for them. Great. Lord Attenborough. Dickie. Oh. He was a long-standing supporter of BAFTA and our president from 2001 to 2010. Richard His contribution to this industry and the world was incalculable. He glowed with a passion for life, for film, for everything he did. And his energy as a creator and a mentor remained undiminished to the end. Smile. 
though your heart is aching, it's fine. Oh. Even though it's breaking. When there are clouds in the sky, you'll get by. Oh, oh. looks like he's gonna die when he's dead. Julianne Moore! Yeah! Oh, he loves her, doesn't he? Take a look at their amazing. I don't know the names of her movies, I'm but not she's good at them. She's bad now. I'm saying she's a No. Boyhood, Richard Linklater. What has been played? Have you ever seen that movie? It's a movie, Gregor. I will watch it. It's been with a fan. Look at Miles Taylor, man. Nightcrawler. Yeah! Finally, some red. No, he would not. Because I'm. Wes Anderson, the Grand Now, please give lead actor to Ralph Fiennes. Present the award for film not in the English language. Two actors who are out of this world. <laughs> this is this is award so funny because Wars people that want it are like, ah, what? 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 I'm reading what off the back wall. I, I don't know what this is. I don't know what what's going to happen next. Let's look at the nomination. Let's look at the Leviathan. Yeah, brilliant movie. Yes. I'll 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 do it. no such thing. Each of us is guilty of our own faults. Everything is everyone's fault. Even if we confess, the law doesn't hold it to be. I don't know. It cut box. me off. I've heard of the lunchbox. I actually have I'm heard of that. Thank you for sending me back an empty lunchbox. <laughs> and that's the movie. <laughs> <laughs> It's literally the movie, it's a bit of lunchbox. Two days, one night. Right, she, this is what she got nominated, nominated the Oscar for. Is this on the back? Am I going to The problem with Dark Knight Rises is the more I watch it, the more I begin to... Well, I'm going to look at this movie. Hey, it looks like four of Goonies. Bafta goes two. Either. Yeah. I told it. Singing. Even the people in the audience are like, Okay, so who are these people? <laughs> who are you? I don't know you. Why are we clapping? We don't know these people. And who are you? Do they understand the English clapping? Do they understand the English clapping? <laughs> I think it is a frost so movie. Uh, and all the collaborators in Poland whose surnames are so long that I probably will run out of time. Poland? But there was a fantastic crew. I said, yes, especially I'm like to think the guy was nominated for the best film. We don't even know now. We'd have never guessed. It was his first film. <laughs> I love how you just uh, immediately assumed it was fresh. Job. Now, uh, to make the presentation for adapted screenplay, we have a couple of real crackers. Now, this She's is the, the stuff from the book. This, this is stuff that other people have written, and then people are like, with her in I'll take that. Yeah, yeah, why didn't Scott tell me? I don't know why Scott tell me. If you can to do the adapted screenplay, he brings back to Scott Pilgrim. He's my favourite movie. My second favourite movie. So please welcome New York Jesse Eisenberg. Has he shaved his head? This is the moment. That's it. He has. He has. Oh my God! He shaved it. He shaved his head. Is he doing the whipper? He's doing the whipper. He did the whipper. I still don't see him as Lice Lefer yet. He's like, so like kind of awkward. He's so he, like, awkward talks. no matter what he does. Gone Girl. Yeah. Apparently that's really good. I've seen it, it's growing. The Theory of Everything, Anthony McCartan. Well, that was a good. <laughs> the Invitation Game, Graham Moore. I knew that one. I knew that one. Oh, I bet he can stay with her. I want to understand. Paddington, Paul King. What are you guys doing now? And the best that goes to the theory of everything. Wow! That would be so overrated. It's winning everything? This is so overrated. No, it's the story of Stephen Hawking. No, that it's a very, I'm no doubt that it's a very good movie. But I think it's getting way too much. Really? I think it wins too many awards. It's good, no doubt, but like, come on. To remember those friends and colleagues, 
Oh, I love this bit. Love it's so sad, but it's so lovely, it's and, so it's so lovely it's and it, it recognises everybody. Yeah, it's sad, but it's, it's lovely. It's lovely. <laughs> Harold, oh, oh so I forgot. That's bad that I forgot about that, but he's made some of the funniest films ever. Robin Williams! Seize the day. Okay, girl, I'll never, ever get over that. Vietnam! Love that. I'll never get over that day at all. Which is given in honor of legendary oh, casting director Robin Williams Mary Selway and is celebrating its 10th oh. year. To present it, its first ever recipient and actor. Who was known, ladies and gentlemen, currently starring on stage in the ruling class, please welcome the majestic James McAvoy. <laughs> it's an honor to stand out here after applauding away. Those comrades, uh, and to stand here and... Uh, he said comrades, people. A new field College people, you know exactly what I'm talking uh, about. Let's have a look at their current work. The public vote for it. Do you matter or... She's good to I say I am not. Lady Mary, I am not an unwanted name. Lady... I want to be one of the greats. Miles Taylor. Oh, oh yeah. what an actor. Really want it. Miles Taylor really, really good. He is a good actor. Shailene Woodley, oh, she's Shailene Woodley. 23 well. and she's done well for herself. You gave me it forever. She's brilliant in this. Fault in her stars. I want to see it. I don't. This is the saddest scene in it. Okay, well I'm going to ignore it then. Cause I I'm just trying to talk over so you don't hear what she's saying. Jack I love Jack O'Connell, watched him from day one in Skins. I know, I really want um, So proud of him. I really so want um, What was I saying? I I want, so sure that's before Shailene Woodley. Who was before Shailene Woodley? Yeah. Miles Taylor. I want Miles Taylor, yeah. Michael oh, Robbie! Oh, Margot Robbie's in it as well. She's so good! <laughs> Who won? The round star bath that goes to Jack Yes! Well done! Well done. There are a lot of good nominees in there. I will I was say. dying for him to win this. Rona, I will say that was a tough category. There was it some was really tough. good nominees. It in was there. very tough. Like, it always is. Like, um, Miles Taylor is really good. Yeah. Yes. Woodley is really good. Marco uh, Robbie is incredible. Marco Robbie is phenomenal. Best director, the star, Wes Anderson, Catcher, needs to win it. Genuinely brilliant, Mr. Steve Carell. I thought they were going to say Andy Serkis. <laughs> <laughs> love Steve Carell. Brilliant man. I love him. Brilliant man. I love him. He's really funny. He is funny. Thank you. I am here to suck up to the five nominees for Best Director. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to honor them. Alejandro, yeah. you want Alejandro, and I want Wes Anderson. I just like the fact that it was a one shot, and it just so amazing. Yeah, it's one of the funny things. Although that's oh. twelve years of work. Damien Chazelle, Whiplash. To get that out of J.K. Simmons. If I ever find one of these lying around, oh, you must have really. James Marsh, The Theory of Everything. Ooh. No doubt we'll win it, because that movie wins everything. <laughs> I'm not doubting it's a good movie, I'm just sick of it winning everything when all these other really good movies could easily win these awards. Oh, look at Eddie Redmayne there. Again, I'm not doubting it's a really good movie. Wes Anderson. Woo! The Please, Wes Anderson. And the BAFTA is awarded to Please. Richard Linklater. <laughs> Oh, okay. Is that I keep I mean, saying like, 12 years of work. That's a, it's a really interesting way of making a movie. So he's, yeah, broke, yeah. he's broke cinema history, really. That, like, mate, that's the last 12 years he's been doing this movie that is just coming to light now. Actually, Leading actor. Eddie Redmayne, The Theory of Everything. 
Michael Keaton, Birdman. <laughs> Benedict Cumberbatch, mm. The Imitation Game. Good luck. Jake Gyllenhaal, Nightcrawler. So happy, you're a nice temper. Ray Fiennes, The Great yes. Reset Hotel. Yes. And the Raptor is awarded to. Wow! The Oscars has. I'm seeing it right now. The Oscars has. I'd be very surprised if he doesn't win that Oscar. Stars within touching distance of leading actress and presenting yeah, two Yeah, it could been fake, but it's not going to happen, is it? Welcome Captain America and Superman. It's Chris Evans <gasps> and Henry Cavill. <gasps> Dinner, Chris Evans is on this! Actresses in this category have showcased their range with the nominees. Oh, yes. Felicity Jones, The Theory of Everything. I like her. Amy Adams, oh, Amy Adams. Big Eyes. Julianne Moore, Still Alice. Oh, this is so Probably going to win. Reese Witherspoon, Wild. Rosemary. Rosemary! Here we go. Here we go. Julianne Moore. Wow! Okay. Best film. To present the final this award. I have not been told who's going to present this award. It's going to come in my ear now. No, that can't be right. No, you're not serious. Really? Cover bet. O M A R G, ladies and gentlemen. Oh God, really? It's Tom fucking Cruise! What? No, really? How tiny is he? He's the, so He's the same age as dad. He's the same age as dad. Look at him and think about our dad. A man that's worked and a man that's an acted. Here with you all but Ronnie, you've got to remember, he to is celebrate, an angel's uh, midget. An incredible... The Imitation Game. The Omega Man who's mm. strange things. That's not got anything. Theory of everything. Exactly. Why about the clock? Boyhood. I wish I were a better parent to you guys. Right. Like who? Which is a clear The Grand Budapest Hotel. I don't know. And the winner is. And the BAFTA goes to Boyhood. Wow. I guess that's fair.